You might be surprised to learn that nearly 60% of Colombians are connected to the internet. The government has ambitious plans to connect everyone. Well, joining me to talk about that is Diego Milano, Colombia's Minister of Information, Technology and Communications. Diego, thank you so much for joining us. You've been at the forefront of the liberalization of the communications industry here in Colombia. Back in July, you sold off 4G wireless spectrum for about $700 million. What do you plan to do with the proceeds? With, with, that, with all that money, what we do is social programs to expand networks around the country. Colombia is going to be the first country in Latin America having a fiber optic network covering every single town in, in the country, even those small towns in the middle of the jungle. Why? Because we want to include everybody. Even those people who live in very poor rural areas, they have to be included with technology. Why? Because technology is an excellent tool to reduce poverty and to create jobs. You've got 10% unemployment, you've got poverty across the country. Why spend money on technology versus health care and infrastructure? Where do you see the plan going in 10 years? With technology, we have access to better education. With technology, we have access to better health services through telemedicine, for example. With, with technology, we have access to more jobs, to creation of jobs, to teleworking. And we, we are seeing that today. For example, uh, we have a call center operations in very, very poor towns you know, around the country. Those are new jobs created thanks to technology. You've been in the job now about three years. You did come from the private sector where you worked for Bell South and Telefonica. What did you learn in the private sector that you're now using in your public sector job? And how do you measure success? The success of our policies is based on a very strong relationship between the public and the private sector. We are successful if the private sector is successful. That's one of our principles. So what we do is helping the private sector, the private sector to succeed. That's, that's what we focus on, and always on bringing service and technology to the poor, which is our, our, our main goal, to reduce poverty with technology. Colombia has the fastest growing internet market penetration in Latin America. How does that help create jobs in other sectors? We have many viewers that know Colombia about the coffee. You know, Colombia is famous because we produce the best coffee on earth. What we're doing is that now we have table, t tablets for the coffee growers. So those coffee growers, they have tablets in their hands. So, and the productivity is improving very fast thanks to that technology. For example, if they, you know, one morning they wake up and they see that, you know, their plants have a disease, they take a picture with a tablet and right away a professional help can analyze it and give feedback right away and they can see the price of the coffee every day. They can see, they can learn a lot. And they save time because they don't have to, you know, perhaps travel to the capital or to the main city to solve their problems. They, they sell their products faster and at, the better, at, 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 at uh, better prices. So with technology, we produce coffee in a more efficient way. That, that's, that's what we are doing with technology. What do you want your legacy from this program, Viva Digital, to be? That uh, we'll reduce poverty, poverty thanks to technology. I mean, my legacy, and, and we are already seeing that. When I go to, to these towns in the middle of nowhere, with very, very poor people, and they do have access to technology, they have more opportunities. Opportunities to learn things, to participate. Their voice is also heard from a democratic point of view as well. So, so what my, my, my dream is that this uh, snowball, you know, continue growing in the next years. Diego Molano, Colombia's Minister of Information Technology and Communications, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much.